Hello, this is Paper Smiko, and today's project is this cute, elegant, fold over lid box. Quite a mouthful, but elegant because of this lid and how it angles down like that. And I think it is such a lovely box, well, um, big enough to fit in whatever goodies or gifts you would want to put in here. And closes just like that. The lid doesn't fall off. So this is the project that we'll be making today. So for this project, you're going to need a piece of paper or cardstock that measures 8.5 inches by 4.5 inches. And with the 8.5 inches at the top, you want to score at 2 and 3 eighths, 3 and 5 eighths, 6 inches, and seven and a quarter. Okay, you want to rotate it. Doesn't matter um, which way you rotate it. Just rotate it 90 degrees so that you're four and a half inches at the top. And you want to score it at one and a quarter and three and a quarter. So the finished dimensions of this box measures two inches by one and a quarter inches by two and three eighths high. So really good size box. So after you've scored your lines, you wanna take your bone folder, fold on your score lines and burnish them well. All right, just like that. Now we wanna take our pair of scissors and we want to make little tabs. But first we want to cut up so facing your paper horizontally, you want to cut up on these vertical lines up to the first horizontal line, and then you want to do the same thing at the top here too. Alright, just like that. So now we want to make tabs, and we want to make tabs at these two squares. Okay, so there should be six other um, shapes left alone. So basically, the second, second one in from either side. So these four, we're going to make tabs. So you want to just notch in Oops, just like that. And I'm going to do that to the rest of these tabs. All right, so our paper should look like this. Now, before we start assembling, I'm going to flip the uh, cardstock over so I can apply my decorative pieces of paper, which I've already gone ahead and prepped. So, so for this box, I've put them in the front here, as well as put two on the lid and then one on the back. So for, uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing for this box as well. So you'll need two pieces of decorative pieces of paper that measures two and one eighth by one and three quarter of an inch. And then you'll need two pieces that measures one inch by one and three quarters. And these will go on the lid here. Okay, and um, you don't have to do the exact same thing. You don't have to put a piece of paper at the back, but I just think it looks nice. Um, so that's what I've done. So I'm going to quickly attach this and then we'll proceed. All right, just like that. Now I want to add my adhesive and I'm going to add adhesive here as well as here, but on the other side. So I'm going to be using my score tape. All right, just like that. And you can see that I've um, put many strips of my score tape because 
essentially when we assemble this this is part of our lid and if you want this um, angled side here we once we form it we're going to cut directly so we want to put a lot of tape so that none of the none of this tab kind of peeks through if that makes sense so anyways after we've done that we're going to flip the paper over and we want to put tape on these this tab as well as these rectangles here All right, just like that, and you don't have to put as much of um, as much adhesive as I did. I just like my boxes <laughs> really secure, so I've gone ahead and did that. So let's first um, start with the lid. So I'm just gonna take the backing off of all uh, off of my tape here. Okay, and to assemble, we want to attach this tab to this square here. So you want to meet this scored edge with this edge here. Alright, just like that. And it's okay if your tab sticks out a little because remember we're going to cut that off. But if you do want to um, keep your sides a square, um, just before assembling, just cut a little bit off of the tab here. Oops. Okay, now to assemble the rest of the box. I'm going to take off the backing off of all the tape here. Okay, so remember that this is our lid here. And actually, you know what? Before we start assembling, let's make our little um, elegant, elegant side here on our lid. Um, so you wanna take a long pair of scissors and in one motion, just co go from this corner to this corner. Okay. And it really helps if you have sharp scissors, which currently I do not have. just like that so we have a nice straight angled edge here I'm going to do that to this side as well all right just like that okay now to assemble the rest of our box we want to attach these tabs to these rectangles here so just let's see lift them up and attach them just like that. I'm going to do that to the other side now. Okay, just like that. Now we want to fold the front part up and then attach these rectangles over the tab and then attach them onto these the other rectangles as well. So. just like that and now we have our box formed and our lid should just nestle right over like that and again it won't fall out and for this box I just put a button and then put twine a bow tie a twine bow tie that I attached with the mini glue dot and I'm going to do that do the exact same thing which I've already gone and prepped so I just attached a twine bow with a mini glue dot on a button here and I'm going to attach that in the same place with a mini glue dot. So 
Okay. So this is the project that we made today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this project. And if you wish to see more projects and tutorials from me, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.